Hi, I'm State Representative Larry Sequist. We've just passed one of the milestones of the session. It's called cutoff. And cutoff is when, by our internal rules, anything that's a policy bill has to move, in our case, out of the House to the Senate and vice versa. That's very good discipline. And make sure that bills move on time. It tends to drive bipartisanship and it lets weak bills fall by the wayside. So with those policy bills in the other house being considered, now we're getting ready to build a budget. And I wanted to show you how that's gonna work because many of you will be able to watch that process as it happens. Send me an email about what you see in the budget or what you don't see. So this year, what's gonna happen is that the Senate Ways and Means Committee is going to send to the Senate and then to us a budget bill. They're going to start after the 20th. Next week on the 20th of March is what's called the revenue forecast. We have an independent group of economists who will tell us what the forecast revenue for the next two fiscal years is. And by law, we have to balance our budget to meet that target. So the Senate will send the House a budget proposal. And at the same time, over here in the House, we've started building our version. We're still down here in our Appropriations Committee where I work. We're still building our version of what that budget would look like. And in two or three weeks, you will see the Senate version and the House version being debated. It'll be in the paper what the differences are. The things you should watch are how much money into education is going to be a big question. Transportation, what money is going to go into transportation? And of course, into health and human services. The big one I think that's going to get all the headlines is the education money. How much money the Senate or the House proposes to put into K-12 education as the chair of higher education, I'm particularly interested in the money that we want to add for student aid, keeping tuition low and those kind of things. When we get through this back and forth between a Senate version and a House vision, we'll end up voting a bill that goes to the governor for signature. And we're supposed to do that on time in 105 days. So that's where we are right now, is just shifting from policy bills to building a budget. Next three or four weeks are going to be really interesting. I look forward to hearing from you about what you think should be in that budget bill. Thank you.